FNN。Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight, or internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We are going to have a guest today, Jim Bartolioni. Tomorrow I have a travel date, and Wednesday we have Shane Smolian. Thursday we have Stan Harley, and Friday we have Peter Elides. This is what our schedule is for this week. Now let's talk about some of the markets. I left you folks on Friday to try to buy a lottery ticket, is what I said. Hold on, what did I do here? I've done something wrong. I figured I had it right, but I don't think I did. So let me try it again.、Uh, where is the darn thing? Anyway,、uh, that's what. Oh, here it is. It's right here. Tommy Hugard asked me to bring this up. Hold on a second. Here's where we were on Friday,、uh, with about two hours to go. I said I wouldn't be surprised to see the market rally up into this area right here, which would be the exact 382 of the high that we made back here on Fed Day. And that's you can see、uh, what's happened here. It's very very interesting. That's that's where we went to, but let's take a look at what happened with that, folks. And today we'll look at it from a、uh, chartist point of view. We'll put up this chart here. This is the YM. Same thing with the E mini S and B. Hit the exact 382. Also, hold on one second. That in itself is quite amazing to me. But as we bring this chart up, you're going to be able to see this is the E mini Dow Jones. We hit it first. Okay, we came back, we hit it again, and we hit it again. We hit it three times today, folks. You hit it Sunday night, early Monday morning, and then today we come down. We took out this low by two or three pips, and what I'm really thinking is that we're probably getting ready to go above here. The reason why I say that is, boy, the market is really getting hit with some really negative stuff, and it is not collapsing. I would have thought today. That the Dow would be down 1,500 points with the news just coming out of China.、Uh, you know, China, the, chi the Chinese real estate people, one third of the mortgages are in default; they're not paying them. The second thing is there was a rumor that there was an overthrow of President Xi, which I never believed that for a second. The second thing is we've had a slight devaluation in the pound. We went all the way from 108 on Friday down to 103 today, and then up to 109 today. We'll cover that. Just a little bit, but I wanted to do these three A twos because of the people that have given me the support at the day, day trading thing that we did on the twentieth.、Uh, great response, and watching these three A two perform is just really, really quite amazing. I mean, folks, when you stop and think, it's so simple to make that little tiny calculation, and you get a pretty good idea of、uh, what you think is,、uh, you know, really happening. So let's just look at this tonight. And you'll see、uh, what I'm talking about. Now let's start out. I'm going to tell you this whole thing started with the U.S. dollar, all right? And I'm going to go into this for just a moment, and then we're going to talk about the three A2s. Then we're going to go into the few of the currencies that we're watching very, very closely. This is the、uh, dollar index. We were saying in the newsletter we were going to go between 114 and 121. This is a A B C D, folks. As you can see here, we missed the 1.618 expansion. By only six pips, and that's in the face, which really blew me away. That was in the face of the pound going from 107 and change on Friday down to 103 and change today. That's a huge move. We had a pretty big move in the、uh, euro, not much though, you know, 50, 60 pips, and we had a big move in the Australian dollar, huge move in the Canadian dollar. I mean, this should have blown this thing off the map, and it didn't. So there might be a plan here by some of these central banks to try to hold a hold a line here. But frankly,、uh, the line in the stock market has been drawn. It's a question is、uh, when they're going to take the darn thing out. Now here's another one that we watched very closely last night. These are major markets too, by the way. This happens to be the gold market. You'll see it went down to 1630 and then rallied up exactly to the 382 retracement. Not a tick higher. And then now we're trading down below 19 or 1640 already. Our our profit objective, excuse me, 
the price objective of the gold comes in at 1545. That's what we're looking at. That is a monster because that's an ABCD on the weekly and it's also a 786 on the weekly and it's got to have your attention because we're watching that one very, very, very closely. Okay, the next one we're going to look at is the, uh, is the British pound and I'm going to do part of it now and I'm going to do part of it piece by piece because I had several questions from our friends over in the UK about this and what it means. So there was your 382 retracement. We stayed above it for a little bit and then we've dropped back into this area right here so far. The ABCD on this one and the ABCD on this one measures a great deal lower. And what we're going to do now is to take a look at this and you'll give me a second here. Here's where we are. This is updated pretty much and you'll be able to see where we are today. There's where we are with the British pound. Now here is where we were uh, in April of this year, right here, okay? And we were, we, I saved this because we were in the UK and they asked me about the, where the pound was going and I said, man, we're sitting here at 126. I said to me, it looks like it's going to 85. And we hit 03 today, so we'll see. But that's a perfect one, three, five pattern. The symmetry between one and three and three and five is perfect. The ratios are perfect, 382, 382, bada bing, bada boom, and how do you do? So those are the ones that we're watching really, really closely today. Now let's switch gears here, since we're talking about the pound, and go in to a smaller time frame. Okay, that's what we want to do. So here's what we're going to do. As of last night, I wanted to get this up here because you, this is a, you know who Ripley is, right? Ripley's, believe it or not, this is a Ripley's, believe it or not, trade, folks. I sent this out and I said, sell the British pound right here and cover it right there. And if you believe that, you still have two shares of Brooklyn Bridge with your name on it, so be careful. I just pushed this out to show you the ABCD pattern. This was done after the fact, boys and girls, but I just wanted to show you what happened after that because the pound is swinging a big stick out here, folks. Look at these swings that we're having in the British pound. You, This is what we used to get in a month, and we're getting it in, in a few hours. So this volatility is back in spades, my friend. It is really rocking and rolling. Okay, here is... The British pound. Look at this. There's the big break right here. I mean, if you were here, you could have seen this was right after the open Sunday night, the first hour of trading, and then boom. When I left, it was here. When I got back, it was down here. It pulls down to a perfect 61% retracement, goes up, pulls back to a perfect 382 retracement, goes up and makes a three drive to a top pattern, perfect ABCD, then makes a 135, okay? I mean, this is just lined up. Look at a perfect 135 right at the 382, and it came all the way down here. So the pound is not for the faint of heart, my friends. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. 
Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, I would like to bring this chart up of the Porter Stansbury thing because uh, they're the largest marketeers of stuff on the internet and they have millions of customers and they've been showing this a b equals cd pattern the low on the left was the 87 crash and there's the a b c d pattern up here into january and their price objective they think in a few years will be down here at about uh, 1000 in the s p currently we're trading at uh, 36 and change that would be a significant uh, it's not going to get there overnight but we're in a bear market folks so protect yourself I'm very surprised that the market has held up as well as it did today, given the fact that the British pound got hammered so much. I mean, the market didn't even shake. A, they were down a little bit. I mean, really not very much. We've made new lows now. So that's a, another sign that, you know, we're getting ready for a significant move to the downside. But, but please protect yourself, folks. There's so many black swan events that could be out there that could really hurt you. And I don't want to see you hurt. And maybe I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, you don't have to listen to me anymore. But, you know, boys and girls, this time I'm not wrong. And I really was hoping for a rally today because we had smaller term ABCD patterns had completed on Friday. And we made, you know, triple bottom lows. We've since taken that out. But we were, we're down nine or ten days in a row. That in itself is an outlier event. But let me show you a chart here that was given to us by one of our friends. I know it's a little bit busy. A little bit busy. This is the understatement of the year, Larry. Hold on a second. Get up here, right here. Get up here. There we are. Okay, now this is the VIX index. And what, what's it? Forget all the black and all this other stuff. Just look at the, just look at the price action here, okay? You have the big ABCD to the downside, okay? Now you have an ABCD to the upside, okay? Look at the 20 minute line that goes right through here, folks. I mean, it's, if it, if it can get above this line, look out. I mean, be very, very careful in here. The news that, uh, you know, China's one-third of the mortgages were not being paid. In other words, they were all in default and they weren't going to pay them. So that was another big thing, you know, coming out of China. We got mortgage rates at six and a, six and a quarter percent now. They were 3% just a few months ago. I mean, they're, hello, real estate, goodbye, real estate. That's not a good thing to be looking at either. So we've got to prepare ourselves for something that is, uh, it could be, you know, quite sinister. How sinister? You know, no one really knows, including myself. And all I'm looking for 
is I want to see, you know, what the markets are looking at because I, I don't think we're that far away. We're only a couple hundred points away from the smaller pattern, but a lot. Oh, hold on just a second here. Hit the wrong button, buckaroo. Hold on a second. Get this chart up here, and I'll show you why, where we are right now. A, a rally today would have really been a blessing in disguise because being down nine days, I was pretending that in my mind that maybe we would get a, a little bit of a bounce. But, you know, we went right to the 382 overnight. We hit it three times. I mean, what do they got to do? Write the thing in grail? Hello, operator. You know, I, I want to thank the folks that are doing this. I have three people that emailed me that really, uh, I wasn't disturbed, I was a little concerned. But they said, look, I, we, were at this, we were in your program the other day, we saw the 382s, but it's just not working for me. And I asked them to please, I sent me the chart that you were looking at. And what did they do? They sent me the charts on the S&P, okay? They sent me the chart, you know, on the natural gas, and they sent me the chart on the gold. And all three of them were actually perfect. And so when I made the correspondence back and forth, well, what happened? Well, I was using a $50 stop. How can you use a $50 stop in gold that is the contract that's trading for $160,000? You've got to give it a six, $700. You know, so you put your stops too close, bada bing, bada boom, not working. This is the start of the high holy days, Rosh Hashanah to Yom Kippur, eight days. It's a cycle right out of the Hebrew Bible based on the full moon, which is today. Uh, this was supposedly, uh, uh, there was a gentleman in, in Chicago that had a radio show, and he always talked about, you know, buy on Rosh Hashanah and sell on Yom Kippur, that it was an astral cycle. Well, when I was writing the book, Astral Cycles, A Trader's Viewpoint, you know, uh, Dr. Miller and I and Jim Twentyman went over that cycle very, very uh, extensively. Over 100 years we looked at it, and believe me, folks, it's about 51%, so it's a coin toss cycle. The fact that it's a full moon may or may not mean something at all, but uh, it really, you're supposed to buy on Rosh Hashanah and sell on Yom Kippur. Well, today's Rosh Hashanah, and if this is the bottom, you sell eight days out. Well, it's got a bottoming type pattern, but if we close badly today, this bottling, uh, this pattern might not bottom until 31, you know, 76. You know, it's only down a couple hundred, hand less than 200 handles from where we are, remember, we dropped 200 handles in one day here, uh, recent, almost 200 dollars, you know, 150 handles. So you got to be very, very careful, you know, when you're doing these. So remind yourself of that. It's not about how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. That's the whole key, you know, to watching. Now, we're getting lower prices now in gasoline, crude oil, heating oil. All of that stuff is breaking down, folks. That's not, that's not a sign of inflation. That's a sign of deflation. So when they're thinking about recession, they're using the wrong first letter. It starts with a D, not with a, you know, R, like people think. So let's remind ourselves uh, of that. That's very, very uh, important also. Okay, now uh, I haven't updated the grains as of yet because I've been overwhelmed with, not overwhelmed, but answering a whole lot of questions about the euro, the pound, the Australian dollar. All of these, I mean, they're just making such incredible patterns, and we're really close. There's no question in my mind. Let me show you the Australian dollar, which is all related to the, commu uh, the commodity markets. Just get this up here. Frankly, I believe it'll probably be today or tomorrow that we'll start to see the turn, you know, turn around Tuesday. But look at this ABCD that we've got going on here in the Australian dollar. Now, this is related to commodities, folks. You know, if the Australians are not selling, uh, you know, this, uh, they're not selling commodities. And commodities should be dropping, and some of them are. So that's another one to pay attention to. The euro. The euro came down, and we came within just a heartbeat of the major pattern in the euro. And I think that's important. But you see that. Let me show you the dollar index. Because the dollar index, I don't trade this, but I watch it for turns. Because uh, you, if you follow the makeup of what the dollar index is, the dollar index is made up of 53% of the euro. So that's 53%. You throw in the pound, the yen, and the Canadian dollar, and the Australian dollar, you you got to have almost all of the thing. And there's a lot of indices, a lot of currencies in here that hardly trade at all that are in the index, but that's what skews it. But you'll see you had that big move up. Okay, we stopped right at the 1.618 advance. Now, I put the wrong chart up. That's not the, that's the British pound, not the dollar index. Just give me a second here, and I'll get that dollar index chart up again. 
shut the front door and raise the rent. What did I do with it? It should be right here somewhere. Oh, don't tell me I took it off the board already. Oh, shucks, I did. Doggone it. Well, that's my bad. I'll have to correct that. Uh, after we talk to Mr. Bartoleone in just a few minutes, uh, he saved my bacon one more time. My wingman is coming up, boys and girls. Maverick will be with us in just a second. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, it appears that uh, Bart is swamped, which I can certainly understand, you know, what's going on here with all the stuff that's going on because it's, uh, it's very important. But I, I want to... I'm in a sort of a, you know, I've been watching this stuff all night last night. And, uh, you know, to, we've been bearish this stuff for a very, very long time. And even look at the bonds, folks. The bonds have no no friends at all. They rallied from 127 up to 129. Now we're trading at 126. It's just one after another. They just keep beating this stuff up. And this is not a good sign. This tells you there's a, there's a swan out there, folks. And it's not a white swan. I'm afraid... That when one of these mornings we're gonna, and I thought it might be this morning because at 4:30 yesterday afternoon, I left to uh, go out for a, a he, for a Hebrew uh, gathering with some of our Jewish friends here in Tucson. Uh, we support the you know the Jewish faith along with all the other faiths too. But uh, when I came back and I I saw that we had hit a 103 handle, I 
I said, oh, my God. I said, this might be it. But the market actually held up relatively well. One of these mornings, we're going to come in and something's going to happen. I don't know what it is. But these markets, they're getting hammered. There is no support anywhere. Somebody knows something, and they're not telling. But the market's telling, right? Prices are going down, for heaven's sakes. They're not going up. There's something wrong out there. So for God's sake, you know, please, uh, you know, please protect yourself. You, you, you really have to. It's, uh, it's really something. Look, look at, here's, here's your problem, folks. This is the problem. Let me get this up here and show you. Here, and you've heard this before, but you're going to hear it from me. I don't know nothing about the fundamentals. This is the two-year yield, okay? Look at this. It's 4.3%. The 30-year, someone is willing to not take the risk for 30 years and get 3.6. In other words, they want this stuff right now. They're that scared. So, boy, that's not a good sign. That is really negative. That's the, you know, the inverted yield curve is one thing, but when you see something like this, hello, when you see something like this, let me show you on a relative basis where we are when you, and this has only happened, folks. What's happening right now has only happened once since I think 1896. That was right after the Civil War. Look at the look at the war here, or the election here. Okay, look what's happened. We have taken this out. You want to measure that A B C D down here? This is really really negative. That's that's what the problem is. It's it's a flow of money. That's why the dollar index is so strong because people have to buy dollar indexes to buy the US Treasury bills, okay? And the Treasury bills have been going up. The 2 years going crazy to the upside. <laughs> the 30 year, you know, it's lagging badly. So something's wrong, folks. I I I hope you make that distinction when you're when you're looking at some of these things. Now, this was the chart that I I sent to uh, Tom Hugard uh, early Sunday, and I told him to uh, you know sort of keep an eye on that. We were chatting about the interest rates and the pound and everything, and I I said take a look at that. There's there was the YM. We hit that. That was the one we looked at before. It hit it three times, and now we've broken down uh, into new lows. So uh, this market, I don't know what day it's going to be, but you know we're, it just keeps. There, there is just no bounce, folks, and, and I am a technician, and I like to see markets jump around, you know, so that's it. And uh, let's pay very, very close attention to some of these things here because they're, they're very, very important. Now, the next one I want to bring to your attention here uh, is the euro. So hold on to your hats here because this is 53% of the dollar index, okay? Now, this is just like we were looking at in the pond. The pound, the pound. <laughs> okay, this is a daily. The pound was a weekly. But there's your, look at your 135 pattern right here. Three drive to a top pattern. Then you have the pullback. This is a weekly chart, by the way. Three drive to a top pattern. You pull back to a 382 right here. Then you go up and make the ABCD. There's your 135 pattern. And here's your 382 retracement. Bada bing, bada boom. How do you do? It looks like we're heading way down here. And that's very, very possible. Remember, in 2000, right back here, we were trading at 85. My grandson was born in August of 2020, uh, 2000, and uh, 22 years later, we're getting ready to attempt these lows again. And we could get there quickly, just like the pound did, folks. You know, that's uh, that's where you have some really big stuff. When you, when you have big moves like this. That's telegraphing that something else is coming. So there is big trouble all across Europe, folks. Not at the fact that the Ukraine is under attack. The whole thing is, is crumbling. It really is. Uh, well, uh, you already know that. You can take a look at the charts, you know, and see it. So since we're talking about that, we're going to take a little trip across the pond here and look to see what the uh, markets are doing here overnight. And I want to bring up here the FTSE to start off with. And uh, our good friend, Mr. Hugard, has been partially responsible for this puppy coming down today because he came out with uh, guns a-blazing this morning at 1 o'clock in the morning. And there, as you can see, we have this uh, big move here. You know, we're now, we've already shattered these lows and we're heading, you know, even substantially lower. Whether we take this one out or not, we have to wait and see. But we will eventually, whether it'll be today or not, I don't know. My worst fear is that you're going to come in here some morning and these darn things uh, and by the way, I just got a notice here from someone here across the pond over in the UK that the Bank of England just limped in. 
Uh, that means they've done very little to try to support the pound. So give me one second here, folks. I need to check and see what the pound is doing right now. And the pound has done, uh, it's just nothing. It's still trading at 106.70. So that's it. We're still making new lows in the YM. Uh, the bonds are still, uh, bonds are almost ready to take out the 126 handle at 125. Gold's at 1629, making new lows. Remember the the 382 on that was at 1656. That's thirty dollars, almost thirty twenty seven dollars from where we are right now. So all of these things are, are going lower. That's why if you'll pay attention to those those 382 retracements, you, you'll it'll help you. It really will. Now here's the DAX. This is not a hard chart to, to figure out, but here's the the German DAX. I don't trade this. I watch it because of Tommy Terrific in it all the time. But as you can see here, we have the double top. There's your first 382. There's your 61% uh, retracement. You make a little ABCD here, and then once you go here, that changes it to the upside. There's your 382, folks, right there. From there up to there, that's your 382. Bada bing, bada boom, and look where we're going. That makes it this. The DAX is going A, a B, a C, and a deep, a deep, a deep, a deep, a D. So that's going to be a deep one. So please protect yourself. I've been saying this. Uh, I'll, I'll quit saying it that way. It won't sound like a broken record any more than it already is. So <laughs> let's move on here to a couple other ones that I wanted to uh, to share with you. I've shown you the Australian dollar. I didn't get the Canadian dollar done uh, as as of yet. But uh, I, you know, I, yeah, I might have it right here. I think I might because it is going wacko too. Just a second here. You talk about. I want to show you this on the weekly basis because we have, we have vaulted. I mean, just absolutely vaulted uh, today in this uh, uh, Canadian dollar. We have bl blasted through this already. You know, that's another one that has uh, gone crazy. We've already shown you Australian, the British pound. Uh, the Japanese, yeah, the Japanese yen's actually holding up relatively well in that 145 level, but you know the Japanese people, they can't do very much at all. I mean, they are totally tapped out because the government has been pumping this stuff for 20 years, and uh, unless they start printing paper, which is pretty much what they've been doing, you know these things are going to be headed uh, a whole lot lower. Now we got to pay a few bills. Right back, 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have a guest on the line, Jeff from Philly. Jeff, how are you doing? Uh, doing great. How are you, Larry? Just living the green, living the dream, sir. On the green side of the grass, a tiny bit tired from being up all night watching the pound bounce around. But what can I do for you, buddy? Uh, well, I heard your uh, guest uh, wasn't able to join you, so I thought it'd be a good time to uh, give you a call. So uh, I have um, an issue uh, with my trading, and I've identified the cause, and I have a solution. And I, I wanted to tell you those and uh, see okay. uh, if you would comment on it. Sure, absolutely. Okay, so uh, the issue is that I have um, a good uh, win rate, but my equity curve is not what it should be. And the cause is this, uh, that I've been trying to scale up my trading. And what happens is, you know, I trade small, and it's win, win, win. It's like, okay, I'm going to scale up now, and I increase my risk. And, of course, I get uh, beat down. <laughs> And uh, take a you know loss that wipes out most of my gains, and then I trade small again until I get a nice uh, run of uh, wins. It's like okay, things are working. I'm going to scale up again, and then the whole cycle repeats. So um, I think that's why my equity curve is kind of flat. Uh, now here's the uh, solution that I've uh, come up with. Okay, is that I like once I scale up, I need to continue at that level until the winds come. So what I want to do is like stay at my lower trading level until I have saved enough winnings to cover say like 30 losses in a row at the higher scaled up level. And once I have that cushion of say, you know, like 30 losses in a row, which I don't, don't expect would happen. Um, but anyway, now I got enough money where I can withstand getting hit at the higher uh, trading level and have lasting power, you know, to wait for the winds to come back. Uh, so what, what do you think about all that? All right. If you're doing well at the lower level and you're not doing well at the higher level, you're not ready for the higher level now. There's a way to get around this and fix it. You, we have, Sarah just told me, not more than five minutes ago, we have one opening in the advanced $35,000 course that doesn't <laughs> come up but once every seven or eight years. And that course has just become available, Jeff. So I suggest you sign up for that. And then after you've taken that course, I think all your problems will be fixed. Does that sound like a good idea? Jeff, uh, I'm pulling your leg. Well? Let me tell you why. You're jumping from, you're jumping, you're jumping. What you're doing is you're playing in AAA baseball, doing very good. And all of a sudden, you're not going to the major leagues. You're going to the seventh game of the World Series. You're increasing your, your bets, and you shouldn't be doing that. Stay at the lower level, and then just add one contract or two contracts at a time. You don't have to try to be like Tommy Terrific. I mean, he's a wild man. He'll sit there and, and lose $300,000 in 20 minutes and make $600,000 in 40 minutes. So you don't want to be like that. You know, that's that's just keep it really simple. Yeah. Nibble away. Well, I, it, it, it adds up. I, I am being conservative. I'm only doubling my um, risk. Well, you know, what what pattern what pattern are you trading, Jeff? I mean, what pattern? Where do you double your risk on? Is it a uh, Gartley, a butterfly, three 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 eight yeah. two? Which is it? Uh, uh, it's like eighty percent of my trades are the Gartley, and then okay, um, some uh, butterflies, and um, uh, that's what I'm focusing on. 
Okay, well, that, that still should work, but I don't like the idea of you thinking about 30 losses in a row, because if you think of 30 losses in a row is going to happen, you should check into another radio <laughs> station, because that's not ever happened. I've seen eight or nine yeah, or no. ten, but I've never seen anywhere close to 30, and we no. did 30,000 trades on that Floor Traders Handbook, and the most we ever had in a losing uh, group was eight. And, of course, we had strings of 17 and 18, but eight was the largest number of losers that we had in a row, which is a probability, a possibility anyway. Well, so the, uh, I, the idea is uh, it's not that I expect 30. It's that I want to have, you know, a cash cushion so that I can yeah. double okay. my risk and handle whatever string of losses I get without okay. going back down to the smaller uh, risk. Okay. Then if, you, if you've got the capital, just do it and just follow through. You know, that's really what you have to do because the numbers are there, the probabilities are there. We've seen it over and over again. So you should right. be able to do that without any trouble at all. There's a key to all of this, though, Jeff. You've got to remember Warren Buffett. Remember, don't take the losing trades. That's a very, <laughs> very important rule number one. And rule number two is don't violate rule number one. So. Uh, just don't go overboard and don't do something stupid. The worst you can do is have a, you know, double or triple position on and then add to a losing position. Then you're then you're toast. T O A S T and it's good night, Jeff. So don't do that either. Just keep your stops in. Don't add to losers, and the, the patterns will be there. Okay. So okay. I guess you're not going to yeah. sign up for the thirty-five thousand dollar course right now. I'm going to save up my think about it. You're going to think about it? it? Okay, this is good. Good. Thinking about it is good. Everybody likes to think about it. Hey, thanks for joining us, my friend. If we ever get back to Philly, we'll take you to lunch, okay? Yeah, please. I'd love to meet you. Okay, you bet. Okay, All let's right. move on to the next one, folks. I want to talk a little bit about the NASDAQ here because uh, that was the one I was getting ready to show. And then, uh, oh, that's this is the one I want to show is the crude oil, not the NASDAQ. Let's get the crude oil up because... Crude oil is at a real major point here, boys and girls. Again, if you'll remember the last time we were here, we had a three drive to a bottom pattern here. We rallied up to the 382 off of the high back here. And look where we are now, folks. We broke $77 a barrel. Now, let me ask you a question. There's war going on in Ukraine, and the oil's not flowing good. And we had five dollar oil, now we five dollar a gallon, now we got three dollars a gallon. How can all this happen during a war? Because the news follows the trend, folks. That's why when you follow the news stuff and watch these markets go up and down every day, like they think that you're really watching them and that they're they're watching your position, forget about it. You know, trade what you see, not what you think. Now we're near a pretty good bottom down here. You see the bottom part of this here is 1.618 that comes within 70 around 74 and remember from the newsletter 24 7 uh, when we were back here it says we have a high probability if we take this out we're going to 73 well 74 is very close to 73 so watch that the next day or so very very important there's another one that is making a monster gartley and i'm hoping that i can get that one up to to let you see it here for just a second, and that is the uh, natural gas, if I can find the darn thing, and I will find it. So bear with me here one second. That's in the futures section, and I need to go there and bring it up, and we'll see. There it is right here. This is a big, big, and oh my gosh, we're almost here today, folks, believe it or not. Let's get this up here and uh, see where we are today, because we're just about at that level we got as low as uh, 6.8 to 6.7, 6.8 today. I'm looking at around 6.5. We're trading quite a bit higher now. We we bounced about 3,000 bucks, but that's a beautiful ABCD in a bull market. You know, you're going to be setting right at the 78% level. So uh, watch that one. Put that on your watch list because that's a that's a real beauty unfolding, I think, uh, for something really, really good. I will try to get Bart on next week. But, you know, folks, some of these guys that are very kind to come on the show, they're very, very busy. And they don't always have the time to come on and spend a half hour with us. So we should be thankful when we get them and when we don't, who knows. But Wednesday, we got the Shane Man, the Wolf Traders coming up. Tuesday, Thursday, we got Stan Harley. And Friday, God willing, we'll have Peter Lighty. So we'll be right back, 877-927-6648. This 
Delta Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I'll bring up the chart of the daily E-mini S&P. And as you can see, we've come down here two days in a row. We've been setting this, frankly... Uh, the, the fact that this thing is held this level today, it just really surprises the heck out of me. But uh, we are down so many days in a row. We're very, very oversold. I would really like to see this low take out just a little bit and then start a rally. Because what we need now is a nice little counter trend rally like we had here. The problem is the cat's out of the proverbial bag. This is a bear market, boys and girls. The people are starting to sense that when they look at interest rates and all the other stuff. So the rally that we're going to get is going to be a, a DCB, a dead cat bounce. And that dead cat will stop at 0 0.382 of this number right here, if that's correct. And if it does, and if it does, there's your chance. That's the whistle, the old... Uh, Bear Express will be starting right after that. Now, maybe it goes blasting through and maybe makes new highs. I don't see that in the cards. But what you want to see is a quiet three-day rally. I will not be here tomorrow. It's a travel date. I will be here. Oh, I'll be here early in the morning. I do the 5 o'clock show early in the morning. Uh, but then I can't do the 10 o'clock. It's uh, airplane time. Anyway, we will get this all covered here. And then uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we've got our guest. Uh, Shane Smolian, uh, Stan Harley, and uh, Peter Elides, and we'll go for that. I'll get in touch with Bart later this afternoon, and we'll we'll see what's uh, what's happening here. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. 
And if you have any questions, folks, you can drop me an email at Larry at Trading Tutor. Be more than happy to answer them for you uh, if I can. But uh, watch for a pray for a three day rally, a little quiet one. That would uh, it would calm the everybody will be talking about this double bottom that you know has a, a history mark on it like a skull and crossbones. But um, you know it, we're due for we're way overdue for a, a rally, and that's what. Uh, and I haven't said that. I haven't said that since Christmas. 877-927-6648. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, boys and girls. Mm -hmm.